I told you guys the next collection video wasn't going to be anywhere near as big as the last one, let alone any of the other ones. This is probably the smallest collection that I will do on this channel. But anyways, this collection, my friends, is my Super Nintendo collection. Yes, yes it is. Now, as small as it is, I have a lot of the good stuff, but I am missing some big ones that I will mention as we go. Anyways, I have it separated, as usual, by some sort of sorting. Anyway, the far right is where we're going to start here. And we're going to start off with games that I have obtained more recently, whether through me buying them myself or uh, somebody giving them, me, them to me not too long ago. In fact, I only have one of those. First one, though, is, the one I'm talking about that was given to me, is called Earth Defense Force. I believe it's a shmup game. I haven't actually played it. Uh, it my cousin gave it to me. He had it. He had a lot of old shit just in a in a storage container, and this was just randomly in there. I was like, I'll take that. Free Super Nintendo game. Hell yeah. So we'll start with that one. Obscure shmuppy game. Haven't played it. Moving on. Next thing is Trick Team. Thought it was a real game. No, it's a Super Game Boy. That's right. It's a Super Game Boy. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know what this is? This, my friends, allows you to play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo. And yes, I think it only plays original Game Boy. I don't know about Game Boy Color. I haven't actually used it myself. I should try it out just to see. But anyway, this is a, a pretty cool piece of technology. Obviously, uh, Nintendo came back later and uh, had the Game Boy Player on the GameCube. And then obviously there are other ways to play Game Boy games now on TV, like the Retron and other things like that. But Super Game Boy was the first to do it. So there you go. Booyah. In fact, N64 even had a, it had a Game Boy attachment for the controller, but you can only really use it for Pokemon, which was fine with me at the time. Anyway, next game is... Oh, by the way, I bought that Super Game Boy from a game shop. Um, it's pretty cheap. Next game I have here is called... If you can see the title. Man, these games are hard to have, read the titles, and especially if they don't come up blurry. Can you read the title? It says First Samurai. I don't know. I can't seem to get it clear. Anyway, you can't even see the first. Anyways, you just see Samurai. Um, this game's called First Samurai. I haven't actually played it. I got it at a game shop. I got basically like a group of games at a game shop for like one solid price. That included the Super Game Boy. So I bought this one just on a whim thinking, huh, that's pretty cheap for a Super Nintendo game that I never heard of. Let's see if it's any good. Anyway, it's not exactly a rare, 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 rare game, but it is, it's, it's a decently, uh, rare, you know, uncommon game. So I went ahead and bought it. Next game we have here is Smart Ball. I had never heard of this game before until the, the man, Nintendo Capri Sun himself, played it on his channel, and then I played, and then I watched him play it, and I was like, "Wow, that actually looks like a really fun platformer game." And yes, it's a platformer game. Um, so I went ahead and bought it while I was at the game shop where I bought the other ones. I threw it in with my uh, group of games that I bought. I was like, "I'll take Smart Ball. It looked, it looked fun. I'd, I'd play that. I'd play that." Next one we have on the list is. If you can see it, Jesus, these are hard to read titles. Maybe if I just bend them toward the light. Okay, there you go. Super R-Type, if you can read that. Man, I need better lighting in here. I can't fucking focus. It's called, this game is Super R-Type. Can you fucking even read the label? Damn, this is blurry as shit. Anyway, it's Super R-Type. There you go. If you can kind of see it. That, the color scheme of the label is hard to read anyways. But it's called Super R-Type. It's a shmup game. I have played it before. It's pretty awesome. One of the, uh quintessential shmuppy games on the Super Nintendo. Not a bad game. By the way, all these games I'm having for the rest of this stack right here are all ones that I bought in the same purchase at the game shop. So let's just finish off this set of the list. This game is... Damn, this is hard to read. Gradius. There you go. Grady. <laughs> this is sad. I just... You know what I need to do? Invest in a real camera. That's what I need to do. Can I, like, put it in the light and then actually, like, get... A fucking focus on it? I, I, I can hold my phone as still as I want, and yet it still won't focus on the fact that that says Gradius. Whatever, dude. It's Gradius 3, if if you couldn't tell. But you probably can't. I'm trying to get the fucking label to at least focus so you can at least read it. It says Gradius 3. I swear it does. Like, even when I give it light, I get nothing. I get nothing. Alright, well, time for Funky to invest in a camera. Just as soon as he's done doing these collection videos. All right, anyway, Gradius 3, I have it. It's Super Nintendo. It's a shmup game. It's pretty good. I've played it before. You've, if you haven't seen it, I've played it on my channel. I want shmup temper. Anyway, next game we have, this one, at least you can tell what the title is, even if it's blurry, is Super Star Wars. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, freaking difficult as hell. I've only played it a very little, but uh, it's a fun platformer series because, yes, not only do I have Super Star Wars, but I also have Super... Holy crap, you can't read it at all. Dude, really? Man, that's bad. Wow, that is bad. Even when I give it light, it just doesn't want to focus. Anyway, it's super... Empire Strikes Back, if you can fucking get it focused. There you go, Super Empire Strikes Back. Wow. Alright, there it is, there it is. Read it while you can. Man, Super Empire Strikes Back. Can't reach for shit. And, because I've already given away that it's a series, there is Super Return of the Jedi. Hey, you can actually see the title on that one, even if it's blurry. Maybe I should just sit back further. Maybe I'm just sitting too close. Anyway, Super Return of the Jedi. It's blurry as shit. Very hard trilogy of games. They're platformer adventure type games. They're very good. I should say action platformers. They're very good, but very hard. And uh, I, I, I tend on intend on playing them more later. But anyways, oh, this is the last game on my that I bought myself, and I just realized this is not part of the same collection that I bought. So all those games I just showed you, except for Earth Defense Force, were bought at the same time in the same purchase. This game, however, I bought so I could Let's Play. Star Fox. Bought this on eBay for like, I don't know, like six bucks or seven bucks or something. And uh, it's original Star Fox. I actually had never played it before, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to play this on my channel for Shmup Timber. It seemed perfect, and it was. Uh... It's a, it's a decent game. Uh, it's got horrible, horrible frame rate. But then again, they were trying to do 3D on a Super Nintendo. What do you expect? What do you expect? All right, so that's it for the games that I have purchased. Now, the rest of these games you will see, you're going to be a little bit jealous. I got all the rest of these games for absolute free. How? Uh, I simply said, hey... You got any old Super Nintendo games? Because I'm collecting everything. And I was like, I don't worry. I'm not going to like take them and sell them. I'm going to keep them because I'm a collector and I will keep everything. And if you ever want to play any of them, just you know, come on over. We'll play them. Because he wasn't going to play any of them anytime soon. So he's like, all right, you know what? A collection like that should go into somebody who's going to collect them. Here you go. So... <laughs> The, all those games, I like I said, I bought those after the fact. These are This is basically how my Super Nintendo collection started. I had zero Super Nintendo games owned before this. Prepare to be a little bit jealous about all these free games I got. Here we go. Oh yeah. Started off with a quintessential Tetris and Dr. Mario. Gotta have that. Have both games on NES already, but hey, like I said, you can't... Beggars can't be choosers. You get a whole collection for free. You take it. Tetris, Dr. Mario, not a pl bad place to start. Next up, we have the Royal Rumble, WWF Royal Rumble, which is also a game that's on Sega Genesis, which I actually owned the Sega Genesis copy of. Um, Sega Genesis, I don't actually have my copy of the Sega Genesis one anymore, I don't think. Yeah, I might somewhere. I have the case for it still. I don't know where the cartridge is. Either way, here's the Super Nintendo one. Uh, pretty much, pretty sure it's the same exact game as the Super Nintendo or as the Sega Genesis one. It's just on Super Nintendo. Um, pretty fun game. It's just. All the characters were kind of generic. There wasn't a lot of special moves and stuff. All right, next up we got Monopoly. One of the only ones that has a dust sleeve on it for some reason. Maybe that's my fault. I don't know, but it's Monopoly. It's freaking Monopoly. What what needs to be said? Everybody knows freaking Monopoly. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 I'm building up to the good stuff. Don't worry, guys. I'm building up to the good stuff. Next up we have good old... Come on. Focus, damn it. It's good old bust a move if you can tell. Maybe I can give you the fucking other label so you can actually see that shit. Oh my god, dude. Wow, this is a bad video. <laughs> bust a move. There it is. Fucking bust a move. One of my favorite little puzzly kind of co op slash versus games. I actually used to play this one a lot on an emulator back in the day when I first discovered emulators. That was one of the easiest ones to play on a computer with a fucking keyboard for me. So I've fucking played that a lot. All right, next up we have, holy crap, another one you can't read, and the, t and the label on top's a little jacked up. Um, but it's it's called Claymates, if you can't read it. it actually, really is hard to read on the label, because it's all different colors on the lettering. Um, yeah, the, the top part of the label's all jacked up, but you can kind of see it upside down. You can see it says Claymates. Uh, this one I haven't played. Uh, I think it's a fighting game, though, with, like, clay model style characters. I, I think so. I've never actually played it, so... You can quote me if I'm, you know, you can tell me I'm wrong, but I haven't played that one. 
Anyways, next game we have here is The Adventures of Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo. Hey, is about another beginning basket? Mmm, yeah, there we go. Anyway, Adventures of Yogi Bear. I've actually never played this one myself. I've seen somebody play it. It looked terrible. I should play it. Terrible games are fun sometimes. For a short, for short bursts. Alright, next up we have... Something that you cannot even tell what it is. That's cool. Good lord, man. Can you at least see this label? If I fucking... Get it in the right spot. No. No. Wow. Can you really... Wow. Can I... Oh my god, this video is gonna be... <gasps> Great Circus Mystery! Hey guys, it focused. It's crazy. The Great Circus Mystery. Starring Mickey Mouse, if you can tell. There's Mickey and Minnie on the cover. These games are actually, I would have heard, from what I've heard, are really good. And when I say these games, the Mickey Mouse games on the Super Nintendo, I've heard they're really good. When I say that, because I have the other one as well. This one is called, uh, The Magical Quest. Yeah. Starring Mickey Mouse, The Magical Quest. Also, very, they're both very similar games. You're just sort of like a platformer, action-adventure type of game. So, yeah, they're just, I haven't actually played them yet. A lot of these Super Nintendo games I got, but I haven't played much. This one I've actually played, though. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I actually had never played this before until I got this on the... Actually, I take that back. I might have tried this on an emulator once, but it was hard to play on the emulator at the time. So I came back to it when I bought or bought it, when I got this collection, and I actually have played it since. And I almost beat it. Uh, I just haven't come back to finish it. I just didn't have time at the time when I was playing it. I should go back to this and beat it, because Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is one of my all-time favorite things when I was a kid. Um, had tons of the toys. Saw the movies. I have actually the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game, um, on Su on Sega Genesis. I have that game. But I never had that this one, which is just before all that happened with the movie and stuff. Anyway, next up we have Big Time, another big popular thing from when I was a kid. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. I don't know if you can actually see the rest of the title, but... X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. Uh, really good game, actually. I remember playing this at a friend's house when I was a kid, and wow, I really liked it. And I'm, now I'm really stoked to have it. I have actually haven't played it since I got it, so I should play this one some more, too. I'm pretty sure it's just a beat-em-up style game, if you're wondering. Um, either that, or it's a platform beat-em-up type. I can't remember if it's a beat-em-up or a platformer, like, adventure beat-em-up type of thing. Anyway, last but not least on this stack, we have Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Yeah, we're going to start getting some of the more recognizable titles now. Starting with this one. Everybody who knows anything about Super Nintendo should know what Zombies Hate My Neighbors is. Um, I have only played this a couple times in my life. I am terrible at it. It's actually not an easy game. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty fun. It's good co-op game. But I'm terrible at it. I need practice. I should practice more. I've done a one-off Wednesday of it to show how terrible I am at it. Okay, this last stack is going to be the one where like you guys are going to be like, Why did you get these games for free? That's not fair. That's not fair. Well, here we go. First off, Kirby Superstar. Oh, yeah. I've played this on my channel, actually, but I was playing it off the Kirby's Dream Collection. Um, yeah, I didn't have this before I did that video, so that's that should give you an indicator of how long I've had this collection. Um, but, yeah, Kirby Superstar, six game in one. Really fun game. Not a very difficult game. No, no Kirby games really are. Um, but, yeah, a lot of good, good variety of stuff going on there. Good times. Next up we have... Kirby's Dream Course, which is basically Kirby Golf. Plenty of videos of you on YouTube of this shit. This game was pretty fun. Only played it once myself. It is pretty fun. Way more fun to play versus versus a friend. Not a great game by yourself. I mean, you can practice, but you're really just practicing to play against a friend because friendships are broken on Kirby's Dream Course. Next up we have Donkey Kong Country, a staple of anybody's Super Nintendo collection. You should have at least one of these Donkey Kong Country games. And yes, sir, I have the original one. Um, I did not play this version when I played it on my channel. FYI, I was playing that on the Virtual Console for ease of recording. But, you know, I easily could have played this. Um, speaking of Donkey Kong Country, though, we have Donkey Kong Country 2, of course. Yes, yes, indeed. Diddy's Conquest. I'm sorry for the lack of focus still, but it's going to continue to be a thing. At least I can you can tell what it is, sort of. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2, I actually have never beaten the game. I've gotten, I don't know, halfway or less than through the game. But it is a plan to be an LP on my channel later this year, hopefully. Um, but we got, because we got it, we got to do the Super Nintendo trilogy of the games. 
because I've beaten Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze on my channel, and now I gotta do two and three just to have the whole series done. Speaking of the whole series, this is the last of the three, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie's Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Have only played this very shortly. Mostly played it, uh, I don't think I've, I think the most I've played it was actually at like Toys R Us back in the day when I was a kid. Like, you know, as a demo. I probably played it more then than I've ever played the actual Donkey Kong Country 3 via the cartridge or the virtual console. So anyway, there's the DKC Trilogy. Yeah, good stuff. Next up we have Booyaka Mega Man X. Oh yeah, OG Mega Man X. Um, when I played this on my channel, I played the, the uh, Mega Man X collection on PS2. But... This game, I don't know. This is the only one I have, by the way. I don't have I don't have Mega Man X two or three hits sitting there. If I did, that'd be awesome. But no, I only have this one. Mega Man X is a tr a, a series that escaped me because I didn't have a Super Nintendo, and thus when the PS one uh, games came out, I wasn't really interested because I had moved on from Mega Man at the time, and I didn't come back to Mega Man until much later. But uh, yeah, Mega Man X is pretty much a series I skipped over completely as a kid. Kind of wish I didn't, but whatever. It's a great game regardless. I'm way better at it now than I probably ever would have been as a kid at it, so it doesn't really matter that much. Next up we have... Oh, this is a good one. If you can ever see it. Holy crap. Can you see it? There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Almost had it. Almost had it. You can kind of see it for a second. It's Super Castlevania 4. Everything's got a fucking super on it, I know. Can we at least get the title right there? Uh, it doesn't say Super, it just says Castlevania 4, but there it is. Castlevania 4, IV, baby! Yep, Super Castlevania 4. Fucking awesome game. Have not beat it, though. It's really hard. I've played a lot of it. Got, I don't even know how far into it. Halfway, maybe past halfway, I don't know. Never beaten it, though. But I have recently beat Castlevania 1, so this is the next one I kind of want to go back and beat. Even though Castlevania 2 and 3 I haven't beaten either, but... I don't know, 1 and 4 were ones I really liked, and I really want to beat them. Okay, next up we have a more obscure game, Mario is Missing, starring Luigi. This is an educational game, children. If you don't know anything about it, go watch the uh, Angry Video Game re Review Mario is Missing. It's a terrible game. Never actually played it myself, and uh, it's fucking terrible. The end. It's an educational game. Why would you play a Mario educational game? I don't know. Nobody wants to have fucking learn we want to have fun and ruin rot our brains playing super mario kart if you can fucking read that there you go. uh 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 there it is super mar uh, mm, mm, super mario kart now i've only played this a little bit i mean i've played this probably more than most of the games in these stacks but uh i don't know if i had grown up with this game i'd probably like it a lot more but honestly a mario kart 64 is my shit so I think it's just because I didn't have a Super Nintendo. If I did, this probably would be my shit. But it's not. It's fun, but it's... it's uh, Mario Kart improved so much since then that it doesn't... It doesn't even... It can't even anymore. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, next up we have... Super Mario All-Stars. Oh yeah. The quintessential collection of all the Marios from NES. We have 1, 2, 3, and the Lost Levels, which is super, original Super Mario Bros. 2 from Japan. Tough game. Beaten all the games on here before. Um, did I beat Lost Levels, though? I don't remember. I don't think I've actually beaten Lost Levels ever myself. But I've definitely beaten the other games on here. Including, this is actually not the full collection, that also includes Super Mario World! Oh, yeah. Super Mario World. Great game. Everybody knows it. Pretty much was packed with every Super Nintendo. That's why everybody has a copy. In fact, I have two copies. If you don't believe me, it's the only game I have two copies of. Boom! Two Super Mario World, believe that. Worth nothing. Worth nothing. Don't know why he had two of them, but whatever. Anyway, the last two games we have here are... Yoshi's Island, which is Super Mario World 2. I've actually played a Let's Play on my channel this blind, because I never played it before. And it's a pretty goddamn fantastic game. Very good. A lot more difficult than I expected, and very good. I, I highly recommend this one. Good times. And last but not least, we have the only RPG that I have... On motherfucking Super Nintendo. I mean, I know it was focused for a second there if we back it up. It's fucking Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. One of the first Let's Plays I ever did. I actually did it on an emulator. Shh, don't tell anyone. Because I didn't own this yet. But now I own the actual cart, which is pretty cool. And as I said, it's the only RPG I have on Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo is known for a lot of good RPGs, right? 
and I've played some of them, right, on my channel, and I don't own any of them on cartridge, which is a little disappointing because there's some good stuff out there. Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 2 and 3, Secret of Mana, fucking Earthbound, fucking, uh, I don't even know, Harvest Moon if you want to count that, freaking, uh, there's just so many, I can't, Secret of Evermore, there's so many, and a lot of those ones I just listed, I've actually played, that's how, how many there are that I have played, oh, Breath of Fire 2 and 1, I believe, is both are all on Super Nintendo, Breath of Fire 1 and 2, um, yeah, so many RPGs on the freaking Super Nintendo, and I have none of them, so, Overall, my Super Nintendo collection is not overly impressive, but it is nice to have what I have, If even if I got most of it for free, which is really nice. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, oh, other game, other big-name games that I'm definitely missing that I wish I had. Super Metroid, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, and... There's one more I was thinking of when I was before I started this. And there's the other Kirby game I don't have, but I don't care about that one as much. Um, I know there's another big one. Wild Guns is one I've wanted. Oh, what's the other one, though? Erg. I know there's another one I'm not thinking of. But anyway, whatever. I'm not going to sit here and think about games I don't have. So that's the Super Nintendo collection, guys. There's the rest of them right there. I moved them off to the side. Um, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Super Nintendo collection. One of the smallest collections I have that I will show. I have some smaller ones, obviously, but... I don't think I'm going to do any other uh, collections I have that are smaller than this. This will probably be the smallest one I show. Um, this one is probably the most, with the, probably has the most room for improvement in terms of ones that I want. Like I just listed a bunch of good ones that I really want still. So there's a chance this collection grows as time goes on. And I hope it does. Um, yeah, so that, like I said, that's going to do it for this video. And next time we do a collection video, um, it'll be bigger than this. But like I said, nothing will be as big as the NES collection. That shit was way more games than I thought I had. All right. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. See you guys later. Peace.